What is going on guys? This is Michael Williams from Cartoon Universe and I may have to take a nice clean little L Potentially, I don't know yet, but I like many others may have to take an L after our most recent big Miraculous ladybug spoilers. So obviously if you don't want to be spoiled I don't know why you're watching this video because it's already happening and you probably already noticed by the thumbnail and you probably already heard this news Anyway, we're a little bit late on it, but <laughs> this is less of a lo uh, less of a news uh, discussion and more so of my own personal thoughts on what I think is going down with this particular piece of information that we got from this series of clips. So if you're not aware, for whatever reason, uh, we actually had a bunch of new clips from an episode called The Collector. It's a season two episode. It's called The Collector, and it was at, showed at uh, Seoul Comic Con in Korea uh, at the beginning of the month. And this reveals that the collector, the villain, who was akumatized, was actually Gabriel Crest, my boy. So, a lot of people are saying that, well, Gabriel Crest, this man, this man just got akumatized. How is he Hawkmoth? Can Hawkmoth akumatize himself? Well, we're going to talk about that. So, I am one of the people who was always on the Gabriel Crest is obviously Hawkmoth train. The show Miraculous, it is a pretty safe show. They haven't done anything super duper crazy or unpredictable. It's a very safe, pretty predictable show. It's still charming, not not knocking the show, but it's a very safe show. They don't do anything that's really outside of the box for the most part, other than their lore pieces. So, what does this mean? Does this mean Gabriel is actually not Hog Moth? Is everything debunked? Is life a lie? Is up west and north blue? What's going on here? So there's a few possible options and there's a couple key pieces of, of this clip or these clips that I feel like could give us some piece of evidence, but it also kind of just leads to more questions. Uh, so we're not going to break down the entire clip here. If you do want us to break down the whole series of clips and like basically frame for frame um, and analyze all the different scenes, let us know in the comments down below. We're not going to do that here uh, because most of it's pretty self-explanatory anyway, but if you do want to see that, let us know in the comments down below. Anyway, moving on to the topic at hand. Is Gabriel Agrest Hawkmoth or not? Because this question keeps coming up and it's something that I always found was silly because I thought, obviously, he's Hawkmoth, but it looks like there's more possibilities now, which I actually really like, and this is a great start to season two. They didn't have a lot of time to write season one, so I'm hoping with season two they actually take more risks and do some crazier things from a writing standpoint. So the way I see it, there are three slash two and a half ish uh, possibilities because one of the, one of the possibilities kind of leads into the other possibility. So the first one is Gabriel Agrest is still Hawkmouth. Let's just talk about that one. Uh, for a second. Could he still be Hawkmoth if he akumatized himself? Well, we don't really know. It's possible that Gabriel actually did akumatize himself uh, for various reasons. Uh, could be because he feels like people are catching on to him. Maybe Marinette or Adrian and or Adrian find something that actually leads to Gabriel potentially being Hawkmoth and he's trying to get them off of his trail. Maybe they become suspicious, which would be especially crazy for Adrian. Maybe Marinette's becoming suspicious and he realizes this. So he tries to get himself off of anyone's trail and akumatize himself because he'll probably assume that the citizens will assume that there's no way Gabriel is actually Hawkmoth if he got akumatized. So this could be a way for people to kind of leave him alone and not suspect him to be Hawkmoth. That's one possibility. The other possibility is a straight up Thanos style, fine, I'll do it myself, boy. He's kind of tired of all these, these minions, these henchmen that he's attempted to akumatize throughout season one failing and sucking at their jobs. So he's like, you know what? I'm just going to do this myself. I'm going to handle it. I'm going to give myself some really dope powers and I'm going to capture miraculous, uh, the miraculouses of Marinette and Adrian or Ladybug and Cat Noir in this case. Looks like he's trying to throw the book at Ladybug and Cat Noir to, of course, capture their miraculouses. And that would be a pretty useful <laughs> uh, ability. It, it would also give him more direction because he wouldn't really, you know, unlike the other villains, they're all kind of distracted with their own motives. But if Gabriel is indeed Hogmoth, then that means that he would be able to focus on that one motive and not get distracted 
um, and bodied in that manner. Obviously, we do see he ends up getting bodied and he ends up reverting back into Gabriel, but that's a whole nother story. So that's a possibility. It's possible that Hawk Moth can akumatize himself. And as Nuru said, the power of his miraculous is that he can pass his powers onto others. So there's no reason to think that he couldn't just have the powers of this villain called the Collector or whatever powers he gives other people. So that's that option. The other option is this actually does mean that Gabriel is not Hawkmoth, which would be absolutely insane. Well, who the heck is Hawkmoth? Because he sounds exactly like him. He has the same voice actor. He pretty much looks like him. He knows uh, Gabriel's wife, Adrian's mother, and that seems to be his main motive for whatever he is doing, trying to gain the ultimate power. Maybe he's trying to resurrect her or something. He seems to be romantically interested because he has literally a locket. It could be platonic, but I feel like it isn't. So that's why most people would assume it's obviously Gabriel. But it'd be a pretty cool twist if it is, in fact, the pretty popular theory among this community, and that is the twin theory. And this is the theory that Gabriel actually has a twin brother, <laughs> and that twin brother is Hawk Moth. And maybe Hawk Moth could potentially have loved Gabriel's wife as well. And maybe he never, it, it was unrequited love, and obviously Gabriel was the one to fall in love with uh, Adrian's mother, and he was the one that ended up stealing her heart. So maybe this could be even more motivation and more understanding as to why Hawkmoth is so cold and heartless and wants this so badly and doesn't really care about what others people get hurt or anything like that. So that'd be pretty interesting. I would be pretty down for that as long as it's executed well. I think the idea of a twin on paper sounds kind of cheesy and on the nose, but I think if it's executed well, it could actually lead to some pretty interesting character development and definitely give Hawk Moth a more three-dimensional spin as well as Gabriel um, and a little more insight into his past. So a couple of things from these clips that I want to talk about that are interesting that I feel like should be brought up um, and I think are relevant to the discussion of is Gabriel Hawk Moth is uh, one, for starters, we see that we already knew that Gabriel was uh, very knowledgeable or at least somewhat knowledgeable of the Miraculouses. He has the Peacock Miraculous and it's right next to his dead wife's photo who she seems to be you know the previous holder of the peacock miraculous or maybe she'll end up being the future holder too but that's a whole nother video we'll see in season two uh we've already talked about the peacock miraculous but it's possible that he has more information and he does because we see him go through a database of other miraculouses now this could have been something he stumbled upon uh for whatever reason but it seems like he actually has a lot of information about the miraculouses Similar to how Hawkmoth seems to have relative knowledge of the Miraculouses. Now, this could also work in reverse favor, whereas Hawkmoth was not really aware of what the power of the Ladybug and the Cat Miraculouses did uh, when he was asking Nuru, what, Nuru like what, how that power works and stuff. But it's also possible since that was the origin story, since then Gabriel did actually gain more information and doesn't need Nuru's advice just as much as he did in the past. Um, but this does lead Gabriel to seem like he's Hawk Moth, considering how interested he seems to be in the Miraculouses. Miraculi? Miraculouses? Uh, I don't know. So, yeah, that could either be he just stumbled upon it, or he's actually very focused on the Miraculouses. So, that's one thing. And not to mention how weird he was acting when, uh, Marinette, or Ladybug and Cat Noir had the Miraculouses, and he was as Gabriel, and he was really wanting to grab those Miraculouses, so... Again, another piece of evidence suggesting he is indeed Hawkmoth, but we'll just have to wait and see. And another piece of uh, from this clip is actually Hawkmoth transforming into Hawkmoth. So I don't know if this is the beginning of the episode because it seems like the clips are out of order. This could have been the beginning of the episode where Hawkmoth is about to talk to Gabriel or is about to try to find a victim, realizes he can't find a victim, so he just akumatizes himself. Or this could be at the end after Gabriel uh, kind of transforms out of the collector and now he's just brooding in his lair. I don't know, or maybe it's just separate a separate person as Hawkmoth, and then if this is a separate person as Hawkmoth and he talks directly to Gabriel, then that'd be pretty crazy. But th here's the thing is, like, we'll have to find out pretty soon, because we, for every villain that's gotten akumatized so far, we've seen Hawkmoth directly communicate to them. So if Gabriel is really not Hawkmoth and he obviously gets akumatized, then we'll have to see 
uh, Hawk Moth communicate with him, and that is immediate confirmation that he's not a uh, Hawk Moth. So we'll know right away, and if they don't show that, then that kind of leads me to suspect that Gabriel is still Hawk Moth, and we are all just kind of getting overreacting for nothing. So <laughs> this whole video is pointless. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Whenever season two airs, this looks like it's going to be the first episode. And if this is the start of the season, I cannot wait to see what else they bring on the table. Looks like we're going to get a lot of connected plot and a lot of twists and turns going on here. But I cannot wait. What do you guys think? Do you think this means... Gabriel is or is not Hawkmoth? Do you think this kind of invalidates the theory that he is Hawkmoth? Or do you think the twin theory is happening? Or do you think it's something else entirely? Let us know in the comments down below. And again, if you do want to see us break down all of the clips that you see here, also let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever miraculous news and theories and all that good stuff pops up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've been Michael Williams. You've been watching Cartoon Universe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.